Hello, my name is Jacob Schweigman, um, and I'm here to share my testimony video with you all. Um, and just growing up, um, I didn't have a strong Christian background. Um, I, my family didn't attend church very often. Um, and around eight or nine, um, I didn't really know what it really meant, but I thought I gave my heart to Jesus. Uh, but I knew there's, I didn't really know uh, what I was doing at the time. But when I was 12 years old, my father passed away um, and we stopped going to church all, really all together after that. Um, and a couple years later, my mother was remarried um, and my stepfather had kind of a strong will, strong um, kind of uh, attitude towards the church. Um, and so we didn't have a whole lot um, during that time. Um, and in high school, I had a friend that invited me to church and uh, I went a few weeks. The youth pastor there uh, gave me a Bible uh, for the first time and I just remember how excited I was to uh, get into that and to read it. Um, and um, you know, throughout that time, my father, my uh, stepfather was very uh, kind of uh, verbal, verbally abusive um, towards me going to church and things like that. And one day uh, I remember uh, trying to leave the house um, to go to church and I had the Bible in my hand and uh, my stepfather kind of laid into me. <laughs> and so at that point I just, um, I dropped the Bible um, and I didn't go back. I shut the door on, um, on my faith at that point. Um, a few years later, um, I met uh, this beautiful woman. Um, something about her was different. Um, she had a light about her. Um, and uh, we started dating. Uh, she asked if I was a Christian and I said I was. Uh, we got married, um, and within our first couple years of marriage, um, she must have picked up on a few things. Because <laughs> she, um, I remember one day she asked me a question. She said, uh, do you know for sure if you're going to heaven? And I told her, I hope so. I, th I think I, I think I will. I hope that I, I, will, I will be able to do that. Um, and she started to cry, and I didn't understand why. And so I asked her, and she said, if you're, if you're a true Christian, that you'll know without a doubt that you're going to heaven. And so um, at that point, I, just, I wanted to know more. <laughs> that was kind of the catalyst for me. Um, and um, I, you know, I told her I didn't know how to give myself over to the Lord. And she took me through Romans Road. <laughs> and we uh, read through those passages and that changed my life. Um, and uh, she led me through prayer on how to give my heart to the Lord and I did. Um, and so, from that point on, it was just a complete change in my life. Um, a light in my life had, had come on, <laughs> and, I, and I knew something uh, that I had been missing my whole life. Uh, a couple years later, we had our first child, and I started reading uh, children's Bible stories to her, and, and uh, there's some of those stories I had never heard before in my life, and so I was just reading through those and learning, um, and then started to just increase my knowledge. Um, the Bible and everything that God and Jesus has done for me and uh, I just it's just a great change in my life um, here in a couple weeks I'm going on my first mission trip and I can't wait to share my faith uh, with the unreached and uh, just uh, can't wait for those times so thank you very much